I've noticed that in the iPad version of Final Cut Pro, there is no way to do a voiceover as there is on the desktop. We've just done a voiceover here. In order to do that, we went to Window, Record Voiceover, or you can do these commands here of Option Command 8. Testing, testing, one, two, testing, testing, and the microphone, just a USB mic, but I'm also recording it on the Rode, Rodecaster Pro 2 as a backup audio. And let's see what this looks like. Testing, testing, one, two, three, four, testing, testing, one, two, three, four, backup and audio for Final Cut Pro on iPad Pro. Oh, well, we've got the audio file saved on the Rode Roadcaster Pro 2, so let's see what happens. All right, let's take a look and listen and see what happens. Okay, it sounded like the file of the sound, the audio file, sounded good with the video inside the camera for Final Cut Pro. What I want to do now is on the, the Roadcaster Pro 2, see if I can transfer the file directly to the iPad or if I have to upload it to my Mac Studio and then transfer it the old school way on a AirDrop or a file transfer on a SSD or something like that. So let's take a look. AirDrop, iPad, and success. So if we want to do a voiceover, I'm going to have to at least uh, use my Rodecaster Pro 2 while simultaneously filming the iPad in the Final Cut Pro app. And then we will go from there, see what happens. You guys can think of any other way to do this. Uh, probably like, you know, film recording and then do the opaqueness in the video clip and just use the audio from it. Testing, testing, one, two. This is a attempting to make a voiceover clip for our Final Cut Pro. Okay, so we are filming in the camera of the Final Cut Pro app on iPad Pro. What we're subsequently going to do is I'm going to take a clip, I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to paste it at the end so it doesn't disturb anything else in the timeline. Uh, what I want to do after that is change the opacity inside the clip from 100 to 0 so that there is no video showing, or just the audio. Then we're going to take the darkened clip that just has the audio and I'm going to take another clip that I want to narrate and I'm going to take that clip and put it on top of the darkened clip with the audio and that is a, another way to do your voiceover. Okay, we're going to take the clip that we want to show, put that on top of the clip that is the opacity with the zero amount lower the volume of the clip on top that we want to show so that way we can use the audio from the darkened clip. And that's how we do that using that procedure. Or when you're recording a memo, a voice memo, which is what I am doing now, I am recording using a USB, a Yeti USB mic, into the voice memo and we'll see if we can use this uh, audio file. Testing, testing, one, two. This is uh, attempting to make a voiceover clip for Final Cut Pro. The only fly in the ointment is with this memo recording and when I open up the window for the app for Final Cut Pro on iPad, in order to view the video that I want to do some narration for, it seems like in memo the recording uh, subsequently stops. And I'm sure even if I use an app like Audacity, it would probably be the same problem. So how I did a roundabout way on that was I used a lightning connector on the USB of the microphone and made the memos in the iPhone 12 Pro Max. And apparently what happens is when I do the recording on my iPhone, it subsequently uploads to the iPad so I can just put it directly into the Final Cut app. So of all the different ways, I think this one still might be the easiest, although 
none of them seem to be as good as the desktop version of Final Cut Pro where you can just insert the voiceover right into the timeline. And of course, of the three ways we've talked about, using the desktop version with the Roadcaster Pro 2, transferring the audio file over, or making a video directly into the Final Cut Pro app on iPad, and then uh, making the opaqueness in the video and just using the audio. Or, as we just found out, the recording into Memo on iPad seems to be the easiest and most efficient way.